Many people have asked me, uh, Nellie, why do you use Moodle? Why should I use Moodle? What does Moodle offer that other course management systems do not? My name is Nellie Deutsch, and I've been using Moodle since 2003. Moodle has been changing and undergoing many developments since then. Moodle is open source, which means that a lot of people are involved in making these changes. Let's take a look at a demo course where you can come in, take a look, and ask to become a teacher so that you can also change and manipulate some of these uh, activities and resources. So let's take a look at it as a teacher. First thing I do is take a look at the left and the center, and I notice that there's nothing on the right. If I want to get rid of all of this navigation on the left, all I need to do is toggle. Not every Moodle has this feature, but it's a plugin that the administrator of a Moodle, or if you're a manager, you can ask for it to be added. So there it is, toggle full screen content mode. If you hover your mouse over it, that's what you'll get. First thing I do is I turn editing on as a teacher. So let's do that now and see what we can do in a Moodle course. It now says turn editing off, which means that it's on. Notice what's up here. Got lots of topics and I can add more plus or remove some with the minus. The wheels are your editing icons. And over here you'll find a bulb that you can turn on and highlight this area. And an eye or you can hide it. And there is need to hide things from students as you work on areas and everything has the uh, hide, unhide feature, all the activities and resources. I'm going to now add an activity or resource, at least show you what's there. Every Moodle has various activities, but most of the resources are set. So we've got going through alphabetical order, assignment, attendance for the students, a certificate, the end chat box checklist for the students to follow a choice question like a poll database where you can add information and share it with the students external tool where you can bring things from the outside like Quizlet and other external tools you just embed them very simple feedback form forums games you can see them glossary, which is like a dictionary where students and the instructor can add information. Group choice, which is similar to the choice, but here it's by groups. Hot potato, if you're not familiar with it, it's a quiz template. Lesson, mind map, newsletter, Questionnaire, quiz, another kind of quiz, unlike hot potatoes. Scheduler, where you can schedule meetings with your students or teachers if you're training teachers. Quorum package, which comes all set and can be added very easily. It could be a workshop. It could be a course, a program. You can find that online for free. Sloodle, which is a way to connect Second Life with Moodle. Social wiki, survey a regular wiki, unlike a social wiki, with IQ live class, a workshop, and that's it. In the resources, uh, you can have a book, which is like a book with chapters and pages and subchapters, table of contents. You can have a file that you can add, upload from your computer, a folder where you can add the files. An IMS content package, which comes ready-made, you just add it. A label, like any label, page that you can generate, create, and a link or URL. All of these things 
have an editor so that when you add them, you get lots of multimedia features. When I say editor, I'll show you what that looks like. Now notice here when you click on any of these, you get a long, sometimes really long, explanation of what it is and what you can do with it. So you don't need to remember anything and you can try things out as you go. You can always delete and try with your colleagues and see how it works. Attendance, you also get information about attendance, information about the certificate, not much because we all know what a certificate is. Chat. I want to show you a forum so you can see that there are different kinds of forums. Notice how many different kinds of forums there are and how they can be used. Let's take a look at the forum and go there now just to show you what the editor, the rich editor, looks like. So there I am. Wait a few seconds, and here we are. This is an editor. Right now, it's quite simple. I'm going to click over here so that you get an idea of what it looks like when you open it up. And every activity, every resource, everything on Moodle has this. Did I tell you that Moodle also has a link for each activity, each resource? Every single thing that's added on the Moodle by students and teachers is actually clickable. You can go up to the top in your browser window and you'll get the link of the specific activity or resource. I'll show you that in a minute. So first of all, we need to add a form. Notice the asterisk here. If it's red, it's a must. If you hover your mouse over it, you'll get a question mark. And if you click on it, it'll tell you, you must supply a value here. So let's call it demo. And then a description. Here there's no asterisk, so you don't need to add anything. Now if you add something, you might want to display the description. Look at these question marks. The question marks are actually help. Help with display description on course page. If you click on that, you get an explanation. Isn't that wonderful? So every question mark, if you hover your mouse over it, it'll say help with forum type. If you click on it, notice what you get here. And this is what I was talking about. There are five form types. Single, simple discussion, each person posts. Take a look at it. Very, very helpful. And if you open up the menu, you'll get the different kinds of discussion forms. There's the standard, where I'm ticked off now, standard form displayed in a blog format, Q&A, each person posts one discussion or a single simple discussion. Unclear? Of course you are. Of course you don't remember. So you go back to the question mark, click on it, and here you go. And it tells you exactly what each one is. We're going to take the standard attachments and word count. Okay, what's the size? Here you can get explanation. Click on it, you get explanation on the question mark. You can open it up. You've got, I don't want to. Uploads allowed. I don't want students to upload anything. Maximum number of attachments. Well, it's not relevant because I'm not attaching anything. But if you want to know, click on the question mark and you get the information. Now, you might want to have a word count for your students so that they have to write a certain number of words to qualify for a grade. Okay, and here you'll get the explanation for that as well. Subscription tracking, optional, you'll get all of this is very, very relevant. Here, blocking, it'll tell you exactly what it means. Great. Now, here's and categorize, but you might want to categorize it, and there's a way to do that. Grades to pass, it determines the minimum grade, and so on. Ratings, you can rate by point. In other words, you can give grades here, it's no, but if you want an average of ratings, you want everyone to the students and the teacher to add points. You might have out of a hundred, you might have a scale that you can set up pass or fail. You can also set up the scale. Restrict ratings to items with the dates. You might want them to only do this from a certain date to common module settings. Lots of information here, visible, show, you want it to show, or you want it hidden. Remember I told you, hide or unhide, I want it to show, add groups or groups. You can have groupings, no groups, separate groups, and if you don't know what these are, you go into the question mark, 
click on it and you'll get an explanation. There are three options. No groups, separate groups, visible groups, and so on. So you'll get a chance to see that. Restrict, you want, want to restrict this form. And all of the features under a form are available under each activity and resource. And then, of course, activity completion and Moodle tracks everything. You might want students to have a grade for you to grade. In any case, let's uh, save and return to course. The Moodle, everything on the Moodle, all the activities are set by default by the administrator of the Moodle, and that might be you. So you might want to make some changes or ask for changes. So here is the way the form looks. It's called, I call it the demo, remember? If I don't like what I see here, I can change the name and call it um, demo three or two okay and then i just click and there's demo two if i want to make other changes i'll make them on the right here okay i'll open this menu right here and uh, see what's here notice menu is the arrow pointing down edit settings move to the right show or not show duplicate i can duplicate things so i don't have to work too hard and put one in each topic section or I can delete the whole thing and forget about it. Very easy. Let's move it. See, it can move. How far can it go? Well, as far as you want. Do you see it moving? There we go. So lots of amazing features. We can move it to the left, move it to the right, wherever you want it to be. And you might think, well, why would I move it? Well, you might have something above. You can also move this. Okay, up and down. To various places here there's nothing you can also go in edit summary of this topic it's topic zero and i might want to give it a name if i don't it's going to be called topic one or no topic let's click on it to make the change ticked and now i can add whatever i want i'm going to call it um trying things out just something I can give a summary but I don't have to notice but notice again the rich editor now when I say rich I mean you can grab a mic and speak straight from the editor and say whatever you have to say allow and speak so I'm gonna speak hello this is now and then I'm going to insert before I do I need to stop. Okay, so let's start all over. Okay, again, I click on it. Allow. I'm speaking anyways. Okay, so stop. I spoke. Stop. Because I'm double here. There it is. Okay, and then I can just save it. In addition, I can also get a webcam up. And uh, you'll be able to see me now. Hello. And I can record through this. Stop. And insert. Okay, and there it is. It's kind of connected here, but let me move it down. Okay, so there you have FLV. I can also add, take a photo of myself right there, straight from the editor. There are other things that there that regular editors have and you may be familiar with it on word google drive and so on so there i am I'm going to take my photo and of course i'm going to insert and there's my photo let's add this further up there oops i just deleted it well no problem if you delete something you can always bring it back by going to and if you hover your my mouse over these, you'll get undo. There we go. Okay, and you can go backwards. All I wanted to do was get rid of this. Okay, so let me just uh, There we go. And I'm, I want to put it back here. I just copied it and I'm going to paste it. There it is. Okay, so I've got everything here. Notice other things here that you can use and if you hover your mouse you'll see direction left to right if you're writing arabic or hebrew you might want to go from right to left you can also add things and uh, move things ok 
okay if you don't know what that is you have your mouse it'll tell you it's indent increase indent decrease and indent this is a line right everything is here you just need to hover you can also get headings of different sizes you can get images by going in and getting your image find file in your computer you can do it there by choose file okay no file selected yet or you can use Flickr box and so on to get Flickr public of course if, unless you've got your own and get images from there or you can go straight to your computer and choose a file and then you simply click on upload that's how easy it is okay let's cancel this but that's how it's done so take a look at the features if you're a math teacher you may want to have these sites if you want to go into the HTML and you can also do that and embed but for YouTube videos you don't need to embed you simply go up here at the top to, if you hover your mouse you'll see that it says insert Moodle media you go in here and you can get click on find or upload and then you can get your here's also Microsoft one you can get your YouTube videos by simply adding them here or your Google Drive Once you do that, you simply scroll down and you go into Save Changes. Notice again, the restrictions are also here. You might want your students to see this later on. So here we are, we're saving. And here, everything is here. You've got the video, the image, the audio, they're all here. Okay, now we're going to show you how to go from right to left right here so you can go back we are right here you can see it's always open this is the course this is the category and then courses dashboard is my personal dashboard where everything goes it's my customized page I'm going to uh, go on now we are going to go now to topic number two where we can continue adding so let's go into topic number two. Okay, just to show you what's here. I'm going to how simple it is to add. All we need to do when you go into, and these are all set up the topics, unless you give them a label. Remember, they're all set up. So you go into these topics, and all you need to do is just add an activity or resource. That is it. That's what Moodle is about. You're invited to use Moodle for Teachers and create your course for free, if it's free. And use it, for example, for Evo. For further information on how you can use the uh, Moodle website and add your courses, simply go into this area. This area right here, it says offline. It might be online if I'm there. And then just move it by holding on to it. Notice with your mouse. Add your name, email, message, and send. And I'll get back to you right away. You'll be surprised how fast. So thank you so much. Hoping to hear from you. And feel free to use Moodle for Teachers website.